Vin is amazing. She is really engaging and loves people and attention. And so being here in Toyota Olivet Passage is perfect for her. Welcome back to DZTV's Best Life, presented by Cigna. I'm your host, Carly McGuire. Vin the White Cheek Gibbon really needs no introduction. She's a guest favorite, but no one knows her better than the people who care for her, like Keeper Molly. I've been here for 14 years, and I've worked with Vin for 10 of those years. Five years ago, Vin was diagnosed with diabetes, which meant some big changes in her care routine. Her diet consists of pretty much exclusively vegetables, um, lots of healthy greens. She's a very healthy vegetarian. Um, and then we give her a very small amount of specific kinds of fruits. But Vin's diabetes was not something that could be exclusively treated with a change in diet. Like many people with diabetes, Vin would need daily insulin injections. Vin was already trained to accept the occasional injection, but not for an everyday shot. So all of the keepers on Vin's team had their work cut out for them. Our program training program here just involves a lot of trust building and relationship building with the keepers and our animals, and then really shaping these behaviors into something positive for her. We trained her to accept an injection in her shoulder every day. So she just presents her shoulder to the mesh. Um, she can choose not to participate, but she knows that getting something really special is her reward. Once Vin was comfortable getting her daily insulin, the next step was monitoring her glucose levels. People with diabetes can do this by using a glucose monitor or test strips daily. Not so easy for Gibbons. Molly and her team resorted to sampling Vin's urine twice a month. But that's not super accurate to what's going on in her bloodstream. During Denver Zoo's 2020 closure, Molly had an opportunity that she hadn't had before. Uninterrupted time with Vin to train her for a voluntary blood draw so that we could better monitor her diabetes. Because even if I could just get a small amount of blood from that, we can check that, say, quarterly and get kind of the big picture of what's going on over the last few months. This was a much bigger ask of Vin than the injections. It's a PVC tube that has some openings. She has to be comfortable reaching in and holding on to like a dowel. Um, and then it was really to finding the best location. The whole process, getting Vin comfortable with the sight of the PVC blood sleeve, all the way to a successful draw, took a year. It, it happened quicker than we expected. Now, we have a better idea of Vin's diabetes and how to manage it. At 31, Vin is on the older side for a given, and it's up to all of her keepers to make sure this diva has everything she needs. As keepers, we're just always looking for ways to um, make these guys' life less stressful and provide the best medical care, and then our job is to train them to participate in that voluntarily um, so that we can take care of them better. And that's how we give our animals their best life here at Denver Zoo. For DZTV, I'm Carly McGuire. See you next time.